Yes, so uh, typically universities for promotion will want you to provide as many metrics as possible that can try and demonstrate the quality of your work but also the impact that your work is having. So utilising all of the metrics that you can have access to will be of great benefit to you and your promotional efforts uh, at the university. Uh, have included a range of metrics in grant applications, particularly things like ARC grants, where you've got to write your, your rope statement, your, um, your opportunity, research relative to opportunity, and also in promotion applications. So more and more so we have to be able to benchmark ourselves because each discipline has very different, um, you know, an impact factor in one discipline is quite different to an impact factor in another discipline. And even the number of publications, the um, where you're publishing, it's so discipline specific. And so using these metrics really helps um, show where you sit within your discipline and compared to your peers. Uh, so I've used things like impact factor, H-index, um, the you know, how many of my papers are in the top quartile journals um, and those, yeah, those sort of statistics. It's certainly most, there's still, I guess, a really high um, importance placed on your academic track record in a lot of grant applications and as part of that they want to know like how many publications you've got and the impact of those publications. I think um, they're sort of like big funders like NHMRC and I think possibly ARC as well have started to put some I guess restrictions around that in the sense that they, I think it's that they won't allow you to report the impact factor of the journal anymore, but you can still show, I guess, the impact of your work in other ways. So um, talking about, for example, your number of citations, um, your field weighted citation index, which I guess takes into account the field that you're publishing in. Um, then also like out metrics as well is a really like particularly if you're doing a lot of research that has like policy implications or you know really useful implications for um, external stakeholders being able to claim to show that your work has been picked up by like lots of news outlets and been really widely disseminated is really helpful so I think there's definitely ways you can work metrics into your um, track records for grant applications. I've got my Google Scholar citations and H, H index and I have the same for Scopus and I've typically put both of those metrics in every application that I use. Um, I also look at Web of Science um, because I've had a, a, a highly cited award for the last three years and for me that's a really, uh, really valuable kind of badge that my work is getting out there. So I'm, I'm very aware of that. One of the other features I, I use a lot with Scopus in my applications is that um, I like because I, I tend to work in a specific area around physical activity in adolescence or physical activity in schools, uh, I'll use a Scopus um, uh, kind of combination to, to identify the fact that, say, for example, physical activity and schools, that, that I, I'm the most published person in the last five years in the, in the world or second most. Or, uh, I'll, I'll use that, to, uh, that combination of terms to demonstrate that I'm very active in that field and I'll use that as part of my track record statements. Yep, I use publication metrics a lot um, in applications. Uh, in my recent successful promotion application, um, I did use the metrics and I included metrics for the journals, so the, the rankings for the journals and impact factors for the journals, as well as including uh, the citation uh, rates for my papers. Um, I also used the field weighted um, citation indexes uh, and I also used the alt metrics for my publications as well. So those are really good and really powerful um, in terms of showing people uh, what your output's done and having the combination of those I think is really important because as I said before I'm not always choosing where to publish based on the prestige of the journal so the journal might be a lower ranked journal but my citations might be quite high and showing that that kind of balance um, I think is is really important. I've definitely included metrics associated with publications in grant applications, in promotion applications, um, in award applications, all of those things. I think while metrics can be really overdone and really overused and really distorted, um, you can actually use them.
them to tell a story. And it's it's more the story that matters in these instances. And you use the metrics as sort of evidence, you know, to show that you're increasing your profile it's, or you're increasing your reach or however you want to tell that story. It's about using those metrics to, to support that story rather than just spreading numbers all over your application. I've used a number of metrics. I've used um, H index, which most people are probably familiar with. Um, I've also used M index, which is your H index divided by the number of years you've been active, which accounts for the fact that, you know, if you've had time out for, you know, carer's leave or anything like that, it can incorporate those kind of things into your um, narrative. Um, and it also allows for comparison between people, because obviously the longer you're in a field, the more pub you're likely to have published and the more you're likely to have been cited. I've also used the field weighted citation index to, um, try to communicate the value and the significance of, of papers that I've published, particularly more recent papers where you might not have had that many citations overall, but you might have had a lot of citations in a relatively short period of time. It also helps convey those differences between different disciplines. You know, some disciplines, you know, 10 citations might be enormous, but in others it might be nothing. So, you know, understanding those or communicating those discipline-specific nuances is really important in, in telling that story of, of how impactful your work has been.